so we have been able to cover the basics that we need so far and in today's video i'm going to show you what flask is i will show you how to install flask i will show you how to create a flask application how to register routes and route handlers how to start an application and configure it for different ports run it in debug mode and then also specify the host that you want the host address that you want to bind your server to but before i do that i want to show you how flask defines itself on um its official website and what they are saying is flask is a micro framework for python based on excuse me i have never been able to pronounce this word i say wexec but i mean i think i need a course to learn how to pronounce it very well and um the jinja 2 module jinja 2 is basically for templating like you can create a string with placeholders and then you can um produce an output from that string by supplying values to be put in place of the placeholders and um, good intention so i'm going to read it again it says flask is a micro framework for python based on wexec jinja 2 and good intentions now this word here strikes people in the negative sense once they they begin to learn flask it causes people to think flask is um, less capable than most of these full-blown web frameworks out there but the truth is flask is as capable as any other framework you know out there the beauty about flask is that it doesn't force you it doesn't impose certain things on you flask gives you the basic things you need to be able to um, receive web requests over http and then send back response to the client over http it doesn't dictate to you how to communicate with um, your database it doesn't dictate to you how to do session management it doesn't dictate to you how to run i mean it gives you the freedom to make choices informed choices and so you are not tied to any conventions and any particular strict ways of doing things as opposed to um those full-blown web frameworks out there that forces you to do things in 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 their own way and this is one of the reasons why i love flask very very well in fact all it takes to build a flask application is shown here and it is difficult to achieve such expressiveness with other frameworks out there if you bootstrap um, a project from one of these full-blown frameworks out there you are going to start with hundreds of files and it gets difficult for you to know where to even start from and how things work together flask gives you the basic the fundamental things you need to receive web requests and to respond to web requests so this is it about flask you can always read on their official website and i'm going to end this video here in the next video i'm going to show you how we can actually create a flask application how to install flask and then build a simple hello world application thank you and i'll see you in the next video